I've taken some pictures of the carpet and uh, they and uh, I will use these as the texture for the carpet and the front of the sofa too and uh, then this uh, picture of the table leg okay uh, let's uh, go in to Photoshop and uh, we start with uh, the carpet so uh, I'll import these two because I will need a bit of a piece of uh, this wood too and uh, you will see that later okay let's uh, make this picture bigger zoom out a bit and uh, drag this down then import this image control C control V control T and we I will need to use the selection marker and the delete control D control T and uh, let's I lower the opacity I can s see that the two images fit together so uh, and I can use the arrow keys to move and it seems like it is a little too big that looks perfect enter and increase the opacity again and uh, to get rid of this uh, harsh edge feather it. So take the eraser tool, increase the diameter and decrease the hardness. Just paint that out. Like that. Perfect. And uh, I think uh, that is enough. So uh, use the crop tool again. No, one more thing. I uh, have to straighten up this uh, carpet. As you can see, the edge here is uh, uh, not straight. So, select both layers. Double click the background layer to make it an editable, editable layer. Control E, Control T, perspective, and uh, Straighten that up. Scale. The same here. Yeah, like that. Looking good. So, let's save this. I saved it in the wrong format. Save it as a JPEG and uh, maximum quality. Okay. Now let's uh, make the front of the sofa the texture. So uh, I'll see which one is the better. So I think this. This one is better. So, 75. I'll drop 75 in here and I'll just crop it there. Actually, I'll crop it a little beneath. Enter. Okay, double click on the background layer to make it editable and uh, select this. Uh, black part under the sofa and uh, delete control V and uh, save this as a uh, PNG file because we want the we want the transparency uh, PNG there sofa sofa I don't know what this is called, maybe couch. PNG 
Sí, en safe. Ok. This took a long time. Ok. Uh, and uh, finally, not that one. Uh, the texture for the tail leg. So uh, this is a little different. We will uh, use the unwrap UVW modifier on this. So uh, right click, lay via cut, and uh, delete the background layer. And uh, we'll use the polygonal lasso tool and uh, divide th this up into its pieces. Like this, and uh, press Ctrl T and uh, perspective, and uh, move this until the perspective is correct. Press Enter and then Ctrl T again, and uh, scale it up a bit. Now this is the side of the leg. Select the other layer, Control T, Perspective, and uh, straighten this up also. Transform and uh, make it a little wider. So, Enter. Uh, go back to the first layer, Control T, move it up to the side. Second layer, enter. Second layer, move it up uh, next to the first layer. And uh, then use the crop tool to uh, make this image a little smaller. File, save as PNG table leg. Save. Okay. Now it's time to uh, texture the meshes in uh, 3ds Max.